Yo, what is up guys? I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'll be talking about an interesting topic, which is about hacking printers. So before we start, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, let's get right into it. So how do printers get hacked? Alright. Alright, so before we move on, just make sure that everything I show you in here is for ethical purposes. Like, if you read the disclaimer, any actions and or activities related to the material and information contained in the slides are resp your responsibility. So I'm not responsible for any misuse. I guess you guys know that already. Alright. Alright, so how do the... How do printers actually get exploited or hacked? Um, so there are many ways of hacking a printer, like, uh, but the most common way is that printers are accessible on the internet, which means that the printers are actually connected to the internet. So, uh, there, which also means that all the printers that are connected to the internet are publicly available if you if you actually think about it so that's not the most secure way uh, of of configuring a printer to connect to the internet I mean and until now you can see that there's a lot of printers that are available on networks public networks organizations governments and many more scenarios all right, so what are the methods on how printers get hacked? So the most common methods of all are, I mean, not the most common, these are actually the methods. Open ports, weak credentials, outdated software versions, open portals. So what are open ports? So there are some certain ports, such as port 9100. These ports are, are open. And... You can easily access them if you have the printer's IP address, easily. And you can take full control of the printer. And weak credentials, so what I mean by weak credentials, let's say if you have the printer's IP address and you want to access it through the web, you just go to it and you'll be prompt to a login page. So you can just try any weak credentials such as admin as the username and admin as the password. And admin as the password. And uh, let's say you have a certain type of a pr uh, printer. You can just search with credentials and the printer's name. Or default credentials. And you can easily access it. Outdated software version. So if your printer is running on an old software version. You have to update it. Because outdated software versions can be can can have some bugs or exploits in it an open portal it's open like it doesn't require anything you just hit to the ip address of the printer and access it easily like you have full control without logging in or anything so these are the me methods on how to secure a printer close any open port many printers use ftp S stmp and telnet I actually talked about Telnet, which is port 9100. 9, uh, these ports are widely used in networks for the ease of usage. Honestly, uh, these ports can be easily exploited by attackers. Like I said, if these ports are open, most of the time they can be easily accessible. And like I said, change your default credentials. Don't use the default credentials that come with the printer that come pre-configured with a printer just change them and make sure you have a long password and make sure you don't have a default username even if you have a, a default uh, i mean a secure password just make sure to change your username too and change your printer's ip address so in my opinion just don't connect your printer to the internet or in um, or in other cases you're in an organization so you need to have it connected so what I recommend doing is that printers usually come pre-configured uh, using a public IP address. So make sure to make uh, to remove the public IP address and use an internal IP address. And if you're actually 
uh, like serious about security, just make sure that the printer is configured on a certain subnet. In your network i really recommend that but i mean in most cases if you're um, for home usage just make sure it's not connected to the internet as simple as that and like i said apply the latest software updates for your printer like it's, it's really important so if you're uh, if you're using a certain printer and you don't know how to apply the latest software update just search it up search your printer name and software update you know so now let's get into how actually how hackers actually hack the printers black ha hackers so most of the time hackers use shodan and print so shodan is a search engine that lets the user find specific types of computers connected to the internet using a variety of filters so what shodan does it actually sh like it shows and displays all the public devices that are connected to the internet so if, uh, like i said so i gave an example of an open port if you actually type that open port in Jordan, you will get some vulnerable printers that's actually like i don't know it's like why do people use open ports on all now and print is an exploitation framework so print is actually an exploitation framework that was built for hacking printers so so what hackers can do they can grab multiple ip addresses and save them in a txt file and exploit them at the same time using print what do i mean by exploiting them they can reset them change the credentials and print out some papers that says hacked by or any any thing they they can they have they have control over the printer I mean, like I said, these are the most common tools used by black hat hackers. And so before we move on, like, just know how Print was built. Just understand that was, it was built so you can better understand how printers work. How do they get exploited? Don't just use the tool and exploit that printer right away, you know? All right, these are the common exploitation methods. So what a hacker would do he would pour uh, he would write down this port in Jordan and um he will find all the all, all the printers that are on this port and uh, what hackers can also do they can obtain the ip address of a printer and they can search for public exploit an example of a public exploit is cve 2016 3238 microsoft 16 087 so this is a vulnerability that allows an attacker to infect and spread malware on network. And I actually linked a video. So uh, I linked it here. Check the demo out. And like I said, search for printers in Chodan. And there's there's a lot of exploitation methods. I can't search that out enough, honestly. All right, here I did some practical showcase. Like I said. I only did it for educational purposes. I didn't mean to harm any device or printer. So what I did was I searched the port name and PJL. So PJL is the name of the port that the printers are on. As you can see, I got I got some IP addresses and some sensitive information. Like these IP addresses, I can easily access them and exploit them. They're running on this port. This port can be easily exploited. So if you actually go to the IP address that Shodan is displaying, you can you have full access to the printer. So you can so what hackers do, they take these IP addresses and they and they exploit them using print. Print is like it's like it's like it's like um, a thing that uh, that simplifies the exploitation of a printer, you know? All right, here I explained what I just explained. All right, here's everything is exploitable, and here are some references that I used. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll be linking the slide down below. I'm not gonna actually link it on my website. Uh, I'll actually link it link it on a 
website called SlideShare. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and check me out on Twitter. And check out my posts on Z Security. And yeah, I'll be actually making a video on malware analysis. It'll be really good. Just make sure you have the notifications on and everything. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.